They which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We've got too many people today saying that you were born to sin. That you were born this way. You were born that way. That's not what the Word of God says. Satan controls your flesh right now. Even you Christians sitting in here. Satan has rule over your flesh. Your flesh wants to get you into trouble every day of your life. It's your spirit man inside of you that fights flesh. The Bible says the two of them war against one another. They strive against one another continually. Your flesh will try to get you to steal. Your spirit says, no, thou shalt not steal. Your flesh will try to get you to hate, but the spirit tells you not to hate anyone. The flesh will try to get you to commit fornication or adultery, but your spirit says, no, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. Your spirit is what you've got to follow. You've got to follow that inner man that tells you, no, don't do it. He said, for every temptation that comes to you, to you, God says, I will give you a way of escape. And it's the Holy Ghost that's in you. It's the Holy Spirit that's in you. It's the Word of God that's been instilled in you. And you youngsters in here need to listen to me. You may not even be or old enough right now to commit sin, commit fornication. But one day you will be old enough. And one day, one day the, 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 the devil will try to come, that old serpent. He will try to deceive you into falling into sin. But you've got to dig into the spirit and say no. Because like I said, that five minutes of pleasure can be eternity in hell. What if five minutes, what if two minutes, what if while you're in the act of fornication you die? What if God doesn't give you a chance to be saved? What if he doesn't give you that opportunity because you've heard and you've turned your back on him? You know better, but he says you'll not inherit the kingdom of God. And there's so many scriptures in here uh, that I could go to that I but I'm trying to I'm trying to get the message out today. We're living in the last days. Christ is coming soon. And there's so many falling by the wayside. You look at them on the streets, you look at them on tel- television, how they dress, how they act, how they they hate one another, they're fighting, they're killing over nothing. I mean, the first thing that makes them mad, the least little thing that they get upset with, they go to killing one another, beating one another. Y'all saw the television this week, how they beat that man. He didn't have, I don't know of any reason. I mean, he, they may, may be, maybe he shot at him. I don't know. Maybe he cussed him. I don't know. But I'm telling you, we've got to get back to the morals, and the morals have got to start right here in this church. The malls have got to start right here with our children, your children joining by television. You young people need to be witnesses to the people in your schools. You need to be witnesses to everybody you know. Listen, I'm a born-again child of the king, and I know what the Word of God says. The preacher read it to me. He gave me a chapter and verse, and I read it along with him. And I know that it's sin to go out and sleep with somebody you're not married to. I know that it's sin to commit adultery. I know that it's sin to commit fornication. I know it's sin to be transgender. You may not like it, but to all of you men that think you need to be a woman, you need to go to the doctor. And I'm talking about another doctor. You need to go to a psychiatrist or somebody. Well, don't even go to them. You need to go to Jesus. Because I'm telling you right now, if you think you need to be a woman and you're a man, you you need to get help badly. But anyhow, let's leave that alone. Right now, I want to pray with you, though. If you're you're joining by television and you're fall, you've fallen into sin, or you're in sin today, and you know that you're not living the life that's pleasing unto God, if you truly mean repentance in your heart, if you want to turn your life around, I want you to say this prayer with me. Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. I have sin in my life, and I'm asking you, Father, to forgive my sins, place them under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart, and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God, and you raised him from the dead. This moment, I invite Jesus Christ of Nazareth to come into my heart, to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. I'm asking you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask it in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. You said that prayer, and you meant it in your heart. I want you to dial the toll-free number on the screen. It's 1-800-774-5255. Dial that number, and if there's no answer, you get an answer machine, leave your name, your phone number, and your message clearly, and we'll return the call. 
because we can't be open 24 hours a day. We're a small ministry. However, if you'll dial that number right now, someone will pick up the phone and pray with you. Remember to support this ministry whenever you can. Support us whenever you can. Pray for us always. Always lift us up before the Lord. And remember, Jesus is the answer around the world. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to thank you for joining with us today. And uh, thank you for your prayers and support for this ministry. Uh, several years ago, God gave me uh, this uh, family decree and told me to write it and get it out across the United States. And he told me to give it away. So that's what we're going to do. It's uh, our family decree, and I want to read just a little bit from it because every household, every household, especially you Christians, every household needs one hanging on their wall so that when you walk by it or your children walk by it or any member of your family or your guest company come in, your neighbors come by, they'll stop and read it. You need to put it where everybody can see it. It's our family decree, and it starts off, We the children of God, washed in the blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, in order to secure the blessings of God, for our homes our, in our country, do issue this decree in the name of Jesus Christ to the principalities and powers in the heavens over our church, our family, and our home. Then it goes on to have all of these decrees there, and it gives you Scripture. It says in Isaiah fifty four seventeen, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. We have all of these Scriptures. We have decrees from Throughout the Bible, commands to the devil to back up and leave our families alone, leave our children alone. If you have members of your family that are addicted by drugs, alcohol, illicit sex, or just plain sinners, maybe they're thieves or chronic liars, you need to have this in your home because it gives you Scripture, binding it. Now, we're going to offer it absolutely free. All you have to do is make the toll-free number on the screen. Dial that toll-free number and ask for one. We're only giving one per family. Now, you do not get the frame. You'll have to get your own frame. But it's, uh, it's on parchment paper. It's a beautiful uh, to be hung up anywhere in your home. Get you a frame uh, at the local stores. But get it right now. Order yours today. It's absolutely free. And I want you to pray for this ministry always. Support us whenever you can. And remember, Jesus is the answer around the world. God bless you. Is the 